Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm going to show you something that I've been working really diligently on. Uh, it's something that I have codenamed the dorkiest name I can think of. It is called the Ultra Profile. Very dorky. So, um, and you can see right here it says Ultra when you move the cursor, and then it auto hides itself. All right, so I'll explain this to you the way that I understand it. Uh, if you want to swipe two fingers left or right, this can move you back and forward inside of programs or a browser. Three fingers will move you in between tabs. Four will move you in between programs. And if you're inside a program and you want to move in between tabs, I have it set up so that that should work correctly. All right, if you want to scroll up and down, well, let's go to a page that has scrolling. You can scroll up and down with two fingers, or there is a scroll bar here on the side. If there's some text that you want to copy, you can select it, pinch in, and then paste it by pinching out. You can also select all that text with five fingers swiping up and delete it all by swiping left with five fingers. If you want to adjust the volume, this is actually pretty tricky and I might switch this. If you want to adjust the volume, it's three fingers and you twist. Now you want to go, I think thumb and two fingers is probably easier than just three fingers, but it, I might be different. Okay, so this here should have demonstrated three fingers pinch out is going to bring up Windows Explorer. Three fingers pinch in is going to hide and bring you to the desktop. All right, now if I want to see everything that I have open, I can pinch in with four fingers and move around and select something that I'm using. That way, five fingers pinch in is going to bring up the um, start, what do they call this? The start menu. All right, same thing, pinching out. And uh, let's see, what am I forgetting? Five or four fingers twisting is going to adjust brightness up and down. I'm not gonna do that right now because it's been a little slow on my computer. Now, if you're going in between programs, you can see down here that it's, it's selecting in between those ones based really on what's been open. If I slide up, it'll maximize it. Well, it will unminimize it really is, is what's going on. All right, so you can see here moving in between and you don't see anything here so again that would be because it's minimized so four fingers swiping up will get you there. If you want the keyboard up, three fingers up and down is going to do that. If you want to use Cortana, open Chrome. Okay, which one? One phone or two phone companion? All right, so there's Cortana for you. It hasn't been working well for me. I don't use it very often because I find it a little slower, although I think it's very promising, uh, promising technology. Hopefully they do um, speech to text. That would be really great. And let's see what I am forgetting. Uh, you know, actually, I'll just go right to the more exciting things or the stuff that I like a little bit more. Okay, so actually I can just go uh, four fingers pinch out. We'll minimize everything. All right, so if I'm here and I want to switch from ultra settings to the gesture keyboard, I can do a five finger swipe to the right and that's going to bring me into a completely different profile. Everything here is different. All the gestures do different things. You can see I have buttons over here on the side. I have it labeled right here. I can bring up the assist pad. Oh, that's what I forgot in the other one. Four finger tap is the assist pad in the other one, which is a different assist pad. All right, so then if I want to swipe back, I can go immediately over to immediately over to a completely different profile with completely different settings. Now, in order to do that, this is new in beta 44. What you would want to do is you would want to select layout down here, and then you would change this from I and I to touch mouse pointer settings. And we may rename that at some point as it's pretty long, but uh, for the moment, that's what you do. And that's how you're able to do that. Now, one of the things you want to keep in mind when you do that is that if you're swapping in between profiles, it will not save changes. So you're going to want to save changes right here before you swap and then make sure that you have in the other program because I have in my gesture, my gesture keyboard. Oh, see, now we're in the wrong, wrong one. Okay. All right, so we're going to switch here. My gesture keyboard, I have the same gesture mapped to swap profiles back to what I was just using. That creates a, a loop that keeps the function going and working. And then I have 
rotating five fingers to the right to bring up the artist pad here. So it kind of gives you an idea of what I've been working on. Um, I like this type of stuff, so if anyone would like to um, weigh in their opinion and, and give me some suggestions for different things that should be in that menu. Again, this is not for really serious work, it's more for navigation purposes. But if someone wanted to make one that's similar to this that's built for certain programs that uses the gestures, I like the gestures a lot. Um, they, I think, are probably one of the fastest ways and one of the coolest things about Tablet Pro. Then um, feel free to uh, post in the forum, send me an email at justice at tabletpro.net, or comment here at the bottom of this video. All right, thanks guys. Don't forget to share and subscribe. That's how we grow and that's how we develop faster. All right, have a good day. Bye.